the R&B group Destiny's Child was composed of Kelly Rowland, Beyonce Knowles, and Michelle Williams. They started slow, in 1990, when Beyonce was nine. They gave short concerts in crumbling dance halls, around Houston. They kept performing, through small-time talent shows, promised record deals that never materialized, and the disintegration of Roland's family. Finally, they got a crummy but real record deal in 1998. They made the most of it. We've Why been not? knowing each other for about nine, ten years now. We've been knowing each other since elementary school, and we grew up together. We love each other. I couldn't imagine going solo. I don't think anybody could. It's, it's just like Sister. they're a part of each one of us. No, no, each no, one of no, us no. is a part of each one of us, so we really do love each other. We couldn't go solo. We started when we were nine years old, and here we are getting a Hollywood star. Dreams come true. By 2002, they'd become a successful singing and dance act. But soon after, they broke up under the pressure of Beyoncé's solo career, which seemed to be speeding even faster than the group effort. Matthew Knowles and Beyoncé, that's the root, that's the tree, don't get it twisted. Everything else is a, a branch or a leaf. In 2004, they reunited for a new album, Destiny Fulfilled. It went triple platinum. On the European leg of the subsequent world tour, Beyoncé quit more definitively. She took the fan base with her and began evolving into the hugely successful Beyoncé we know now. Pop music juggernaut, movie celebrity, clothing design star. Knowles co-starred in the hit film in 2002 and released her best-selling solo album Dangerously in Love in 2003, which won five Grammys and was certified four times platinum. I think Beyonce made a smart move going solo because she actually catapulted herself as a brand far further than she ever could have as a member of a group. The other two members of the original group? Today, they appear on B-list talk shows, when they can get booked, and are presented to viewers as, Kelly Rowland, formerly of Destiny's Child, and Michelle Williams, formerly of Destiny's Child. Now my next guest is best known, I guess, for being a member of the most successful girl group of all time. She's now going on to have a very successful solo career, talking of course about singer Kelly Rowland. According to the New York Times it shouldn't be surprising that things ended this way. It's been a long-held belief in the music industry that Destiny's Child was little more than a launching pad for Beyonce Knowles' inevitable solo career. Which leads to this question. Why did she go back in 2004? and do the Destiny Fulfilled album with her old partners. Here's what the newspaper reported. Margot Watson, arts and entertainment editor at Suede, a fashion magazine, suggests that the star does not want to appear disloyal to her former partners, and called Beyoncé's decision to return to the group a charitable one. But, from day one, Miss Watson said, it has always been about Beyoncé. She's the one you can't take your eyes off of. No one really cares about the other girls. I think Beyonce will eventually realize that these girls are throwing dust on her shine. 